This is breaking news from NBC Montana. Breaking news live at 5. A New York jury finds Donald Trump guilty of 34 felony charges of falsifying business records related to hush money payments before the 2016 election. Trump denies wrongdoing and vows to appeal. Tonight, former President Donald Trump is a convicted felon, a first for any former president. National correspondent Atra Elnishar reports what lies ahead. It took the 12 person jury roughly 11 hours over a day and a half to find former President Trump guilty on 34 felony counts, all 34 counts. Now the verdict came down quicker than many experts anticipated given the complexity of this case. Now the sentencing, what happens next? That'll occur at 10 a.m. on July 11th. That's just before the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. Now Trump's legal team has already said they will appeal this verdict. That's expected to delay things potentially until after the election. This is all very fluid. Trump, though, came out right away and addressed reporters outside the courtroom. He repeated claims that the case in his eyes was rigged. We did hear from one of his attorneys complimenting how, her, how hard and thoroughly the jury was working. We've also just heard from the Biden campaign. They say, quote, in New York today, we saw that no one is above the law. Donald Trump has always mistakenly believed he would never face consequences for breaking the law for his own personal gain and went on to make the argument for why the American people should not vote for Trump in November. It's possible we hear directly from President Biden. When the verdict came out, he was in Delaware with the First Lady. So we'll be watching for any announcement from the White House to see if he addresses this matter as the president or perhaps he may address it as a candidate on the campaign. I'm Atrel Nishar. How the verdict will impact the presidential election this November remains to be seen, but most voters say it won't change their minds. According to a new NPR PBS NewsHour Martis poll, 67% of registered voters say a guilty verdict does not make a difference in their vote. 76% say the same about a not guilty verdict. We will continue following this story on air and on our homepage. Read the full story online at NBCMontana.com. Also, be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms.